Once the driver is installed, connect the HS5 to your running PC or Mac via USB and turn on the HS5. Now launch your digital audio workstation application. In this case, we're using Presonus Studio One. It doesn't matter what digital audio workstation app you use, but you need to know how to choose the audio interface that your door is using. This will differ from application to application a little, but in the case of Studio One, we go to Studio One menu, Options, then Audio Setup. Then click the Audio Device drop-down menu and choose HS5. Now the HS5 will be used for all of your input output to the door application. Like all door applications, Studio One requires that I tell it which channels of the audio device should be valid for input, and what channel input number of the door application they should send signal to via a simple routing matrix. I need to click Song Setup at the bottom left of the Options window, then click Audio I.O. Setup at the top. Notice that the Audio I.O. Setup window has an Input and an Output tab at the top left. It defaults to the input, which is what we need here. At the bottom left, I'll click Add Mono four times, and I'll click Add Stereo once. As I'm going to record four mono tracks via XLR inputs to channels A to D on the HS5, and one stereo track via a stereo line-in to the left and right inputs of channel E in this example. If you look at the top row of labels above the input matrix in this window, you'll see all of the potential inputs of the HS5 declared. The XLR inputs will be received as inputs 1, 3, 5 and 7, and the stereo line input to the HS5's E channel will be received as 9 and 10. I might also want to go through and name these inputs in the audio I.O. setup so they reflect the channel names on the HS5 unit. I just need to adjust the matrix links in the interface to match these inputs to the tracks I intend to use them with. In the scenario I'm using here, it'll be a link to the XLR or first input of each stereo pair for our four mono inputs to channels A to D on the HS5. So we'll add a mono link at positions 1, 3, 5 and 7 to cover the inputs named channel A to D and the stereo link will be for the input named channel E and positions 9 and 10. Under the output tab of the audio I.O. setup, it'll default to the stereo main out of the HS5. So if you have headphones or speakers connected to the main mix outputs on the right, you'll hear your digital audio workstations playback via this pathway. When it's done, click OK at the bottom right. 